Uh, hello, everyone. So I'm taking a couple of minutes, just actually five, to talk to you about something like it matters to me, I think it matters to you when it comes to learn something and learn something new. It's typically not easy because we say like, oh, this is a very difficult stuff. I can learn it. It's just the learning curve is going to be like that and then like this and then like that and then like this. We all know all this meme about that. But what I want to say is like we all have different, like let's say, cognitive styles. It's when she words to say like we all learn in a different way. And so the point is, like, we are very diverse, like, people, and we have a way we like to learn stuff, like, visually we see stuff, we can hear stuff, we also can write it, we can mix everything. And this is something very important and very, it's very good, actually. And when you go over the internet and you're trying to find resources to new something and to learn something new, you can get lost. But... What I figured by myself and also for the other people when I was training people is like, you go on YouTube and all the people having the same problem as you. <laughs> they can actually find the resources that you're looking for. And so you click on this one like, oh, not this one is not exactly, talk. it doesn't mean anything to me. So you move to another one and finally you find someone who has exactly, so they speak exactly the thing you want to hear and you understand what it's about and you can, I don't know, read the code, you can read what's on the screen, say, oh, it might be a way to get into something I want to learn. And then you jumped into it. And that's very good. That's very good. So what I want to say is like, do not get stuck at the first step. Like, this is difficult. I can do it. There are other people who have the same problem as you. And then what comes to open source community and hacking in general, like we have a lot of person seeing the world in a different way. And so they're all contributing to open source. So even I, oh, I can find the code, I can find the explanation, I can find it in, in everything in this way that like people are presenting in, in a different way. And it creates a diversity of where we are today and open source and security. Like we are very creative and we try to solve problems like, how do I do this? Oh, you talk to your friends and next to you, like, hey, we try this. Like, oh yeah, yeah, I didn't see it this way. And you're learning this way. And that's cool. And we all, take benefits from this, or we'll take benefits in our team, and it gives us confidence to go further. We can write stuff also. We can write articles, blog, we can write code, we can post issues on GitHub, and it actually is great. So just to wrap it up, um, just a quick word to say, so do not limit yourself. Do not get impressed by something you want to learn because it's far from, I don't know, your background or, or you know, I like you, you like science, but you have absolutely no idea how to express yourself when you want to ask something or the other way around. I wanted to learn coding and it was like very difficult to access it because it's not by my grand at first. But you ask people around and you can find some way to get into it. So yeah, basic words is about that. So I hope everything enjoyed. Uh, have a good afternoon. <laughs>